Hey guys, I'm Cam from todaysiphone.com and I've got another list of your questions. I was going to do this last week but unfortunately I had so much other stuff going on that I just couldn't squeeze it in. So uh, I'm getting to it today. As promised, another question and answer session right after the break. So lots of people on YouTube and on our site um, were asking whether or not they should buy the iPhone 4 now or if they should wait until the iPhone 5 comes out. Um, my opinion is I think just wait until the iPhone 5 is at least announced and, and when it's launched, um, if the specs and everything, if it's not as good or if it's not significantly better and you think you'll be happier with the iPhone 4, you're better off waiting till then anyway because the, the chances are that it'll be cheaper. Normally what happens is when the next iPhone is launched they still sell a lower version of the uh, of the one previous but they'll sell it at a, at a cheaper cost like at the moment you can buy a, an iPhone 3GS for $50 on AT&T. Um, they might do something similar with the iPhone 4 when the iPhone 5 is out. Um, again loads of people want to know about the iPhone 5, what are the features going to be like, what does it need to keep up with the current trends. Um, it needs a lot. Um, well, when I say a lot, it it needs two things, I think. Um, it needs a dual-core processor, which we think it's going to have anyway. And I really believe it needs a bigger screen. Um, all the high-end smartphones now are going to 4-inch screens, 4.3-inch screens, 4.5. And when you look at them, I mean, they're stunning. And you put them next to an iPhone, and your iPhone all of a sudden looks like it's really tiny. Um, and obviously with more and more people getting into media, more and more people wanting videos and content and and a good looking screen on their phone, I mean, you've got to compete with that. And I mean, the latest rumours are that Toshiba are making 4 inch panels that will fit the iPhone 5, hopefully. Um, and they are going to be super high contrast ratio, super fantastic colours and also uh, it's going to be retina pixel de density, so <coughs> rumours are, sorry for coughing, that it will have a pixel density of about 360 pixels per inch and the current iPhone 4 is 321, so it's going to be even sharper than the current iPhone 4 screen, so uh, I mean I think that's what it needs, it needs a much better screen, it needs a much better processor, because the iPhone 5 is going to be more about gaming, like the iPad 2. Um, someone asks, I want to buy the iPhone 5 before I go away to Europe on the 15th of September. Do you think it should be out by then? I have no idea. I'm sorry. Um, we're hoping, I mean the June event's coming up, but the noises that are being made seem to be confirming that it's just going to be a software event. And so it looks like the iPhone 5 is going to be launched in September which means probably it will be around the end of September before we actually get it in in our hands. So, I mean, I'm not sure. If it's out in September, then no. If it's out in June, then obviously yes. Another comment. Great Q&A. Thank you. I wouldn't worry about talking any faster, blah, blah, blah. What do you think about Windows Phone 7 compared to iOS? I have used all five major OS's, Blackberry, iOS, Android, Windows Phone 7 and Windows Mobile 6.x. Just curious about another techie's opinion. Um, to be honest, I've not, I've not even tried Windows Phone 7. Um, my main reason for that is that I really don't like the whole design with the kind of grid layout with the big bright squares. I mean it's, it's not my kind of user interface and so I mean it would be completely wrong for me to comment on on how good the software is because I'm obviously looking at it from a biased opinion I've already made up my mind that I don't like how it looks so um, I mean I think there are good things about it I mean obviously like having all your social feeds all in one place um, that's fantastic uh, and I think what's gonna happen is once you get to like second and third generation handsets with Windows Phone 7 you'll start seeing how good it can be but at the moment I think it's still a pretty early on in its development and I wouldn't I wouldn't personally want to try it out yet. Um, what I, th I believe when Nokia start making phones with Windows Phone 7 on 
I start being interested then because obviously Nokia makes some really really good hardware but they've always lacked on the software side with Symbian which is really really dated so I'd be tempted then but until then I can't give you an honest and uh, educated answer because I, I haven't tried it out. Um, Spencer on Facebook asks, is there any way for me to get a white iPhone 4 through Apple? I have the black one, I got it sometime in October or November. Um, probably not. Um, not if you're, I'm guessing you're from the US, most of our viewers and readers are. Um, as far as I know, Apple don't sell it direct and, and are unlocked, you'd have to get it on a contract. Uh, and so obviously if you wanted the white one, you'd have to sell your black one and try and pay towards it, but then you'd be tied into two contracts. Um, I wouldn't worry. The only way I would do it, I'd be tempted to do it, is by going through eBay or Craigslist or someone um, and seeing if you can just pick up the handset on its own and selling yours. That's that's how I do it with my phones. I generally just sell the one I've got and buy a new one on eBay uh, because I like to keep up. Um, and obviously my taste changes all the time. If any, if any of you saw how many phones I've had, um, it's obvious that that's what I do because otherwise I have about 10 or 15 contracts running all at the same time. Um, Christopher Simmons, what do you think the iPhone 4GS slash 5 will be like or look like? Um, it l Again, this is complete guesswork going on rumours. I think it's going to look like the iPhone 4. It looks like it's going to have the flash for the camera on the other side instead of right underneath the lens. Uh, the screen could be bigger, but we don't know. Um, but I think that's what it's going to be. It's basically going to be a faster, a better version of the iPhone 4, which it's not necessarily a bad thing because the iPhone 4 is a great performing handset. It may not have the top specs like some of the top Android phones, but it still works. It still does the job, and it does it well, and it, it doesn't look slow or outdated or anything like that. I think the design's fine. Um, I just don't like the flat back, I'd prefer a curved one. Jake Smith, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> uh, Jake Smith asks, when do you think Verizon will abandon unlimited data? We all know it's coming. Um, I think it'll be when the iPhone 5 is out. Um, the iPhone 5 is more than likely going to be released on AT&T and Verizon at the same time. And once they do that, I think they'll get rid of the unlimited plan and opt for a more tiered data plan like, like AT&T offer. Do you think iPod Touch 5 will get 3G internet? Simple answer really, no. Um, if it did, it would just be another iPhone and I don't think they want to get mixed up between the two, there's no point. Um, if you want an iPod Touch that's got 3G, buy one of these, because um, that's basically what it is. Obviously it makes calls as well, but I think Putting 3G on an iPod Touch is, is kind of rendering it pointless as an iPod. You may as well just get a phone. Um, okay, I think I'm done. No more questions there. So, if you want to ask me anything at all, um, comment in the comments section below. Be sure to tweet me on Twitter. I'm at TIP underscore cam. I'm more than happy to contact you. I reply most of the time. If you've got any questions or concerns about Apple or iPhones, just uh, let me know. And be sure to check out our Facebook page. It's facebook.com forward slash today's iPhone. And I will see you again. Cheerio.